Tom Tom invited us to Amsterdam to see how they make their maps. This third article in the series focuses on Tom Tom's IQ route technology. So it's the map share, but it's also the, as we call it, the traces. We know where people have been. We only don't know who these people are of these traces because it's fully anonymized before it enters our building here. But actually, what's happening is when people drive around with a Tom Tom, is that every now and then their position is stored. Some systems every second, some systems every five seconds, but it's stored every time. And this is somewhere hidden in the, in the machine. Nobody can get that out, even we can't with, without some distinctive software. But uh, at a certain moment, when people synchronize with our system, then and they agree uh, with our terms and, and, and uh, they, they say, okay, they want to share this data, and a lot of people do that, then we get all this data in. Uh, this happens every now and then when people synchronize, but it also happens with our live systems, as we call them, with which we communicate every two to three, uh, one to three minutes, depending on which system it is. So then we get uh, here, we, we get a lot of data and at one time, and here after, uh, say, one minute, we get 60 positions of these people in. So that's a lot of live data by cellular communication. Now, uh, what we get in uh, looks a little bit like this. We, we call it, it's just called in the world floating car data. So it's data not, uh, not measured by big heavy infrastructure as, as governments used to do it, by inductive loops or cameras or other, uh, other infrastructure measures, but by just following the cars that are driving with your equipment. And this is just a map of Europe that we uh, made with a couple of days of measurements of our uh, our client base. It's a relatively old map because we didn't solve any systems here in the Eastern Europe that we do now. Um, but you still see some people driving around there with our systems because we had the high level network here, but they just drive around there, although the benefit of the Tom Tom back then was not, not very huge. But they already started generating data for us on countries where we didn't have real accurate maps. So they helped us uh, making the maps. We also get some very nice data of the ferry boats. You see here, that's just people uh, still using their tom tom when they're on a boat, apparently. So we know if they are aware in time, if they have been over speeding or whatsoever. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot of interesting data. We don't do nothing about it because we concentrate on all the data that's happening here on the uh, on, on the on the land. Here, this is not snow. This is just fewer roads in the Alps, but it looks nice. Like this. Yeah. this is this is the data as we have been have been told that we that we have. Um, all the data available from every street here, we, kn we know what, what the speed is. The essence of the data from my business is that it's nice to improve our systems. We have, we have better routing because of that. But we know actually, in all modesty, much better what the traffic is about uh, than the government themselves. Here we see the traditional routing calculation, which is purely time-based, i.e. distance and speed limit. With IQ routes, TomTom now knows the real speeds on the road at any time of the day so that at peak times the best route is also the longest in this particular example. But at night time the fastest route is also the shortest distance. This is because TomTom Tom knows the average speed of the roads in five minute slots for each of the seven days of the week. Let's look at the implementation of this data in routing. Here we are at the first junction on our trip. This has three possible turns which we have to check. As we know at the time we're travelling we also know the average speed for each road segment. As we expand the route, the three possible turns suddenly become nine. These nine expand at a very rapid rate until we get to a situation when for a 60 mile trip, two and a half million roads need to be examined. TomTom Tom have created technology they call Fast and Exact to cater for this and to produce fast, accurate routes. But the IQ route data is not just limited to helping produce good routes. It can also be used to improve traffic flows. The data can be used to automatically detect stop signs and traffic lights by looking at the patterns in the data flow. These patterns can be used by infrastructure planners to improve overall traffic flow and thus benefit all road users.